Uh, we are here at 10808 Catherine Avenue here in Las Vegas, and the craziest thing about it is, is like I bought my partner and I bought this house about nine months ago, and we had we, and we bought this house with the tenants inside, and just the tenants had just left about two, uh, two months ago. And now we're just now now I'm now that I'm here in town. I'm like let's let's check out this house before it gets rented out. So we have we actually have a midterm rental tenant that's moving in today at 3 p.m. and I'm like okay let's before we, before the tenants move in and we and I can't visit this house for the next three months again. I wanted to do a video tour of this house. So I've never been inside. I don't even know what the house is like. I'm pretty sure it's furnished. I'm pretty sure Justin you, you, Justin did a phenomenal job of getting this house done. You guys know the drill. At this point, I, every single property that I buy, I buy them subject to or seller finance, meaning. I buy with this, you know, taking over some of someone's existing mortgage payment. In this case, it was Aubrey or Audrey that was a seller. And he goes, you know what, Kevin, I had, I just bought this house. And you know what, I, I'm, I'm moved, I got restationed to Texas for my job because he works in the military, right? So he's like, I got restationed and I need to go somewhere. And the craziest part about this, just craziest part about this deal, I don't know if you know, the craziest part about this deal is the homeowner reaches, reaches out to me on my Instagram because he saw me on Pace's YouTube channel. So the, the homeowner reaches out to me saying, hey, I saw you on, uh, on Pace's YouTube and I know you buy houses that have no equity and you take over mortgage payments and you turn around and make the house cash flow, all that stuff. Like he came to me saying, hey, I'm ready, to, I'm ready to give you this house to you. Just give me 10 grand for this house. 2000 is the mortgage payment, the principal interest, taxes, and insurance. And there's like, a, I think there's like $40 HOA here. We gave the homeowner like $10,000 and we just took over the existing mortgage payment. Like it's crazy that like I bought this house when the when the rates were at six point five seven point five percent. I bought this half a million dollars house with ten grand down plus closing costs. So we got into this deal for maybe less than thirteen grand. I took over somebody else's mortgage at two point nine percent from Audrey, and then now we are here and we have a midterm rental de tenant that's moving in for how much? To, for how much? For all together was sixty two hundred. I, I didn't even know this. This is how, how, how involved I am in this thing, right? Like we have a tenant moving in for 42 days for 6,200 bucks. And this is a house that I bought for 10 grand, so 12 grand. And, we are, and we're already making, just in 42 days, we're already, already making 50% you know, of, of our money back. Obviously we have to pay the mortgage and things like that. So it's not effectively 50%, but you get the numbers. So let, I'll, I'll, show you the, I'll show you the house. Not that I've been here before. Okay, so I think this is a three bedroom, two bath, right, Justin? Yes. Three bedroom, two and a half bath. Um, wow, this is really nice. Whose is this? This is for welcoming the guests. Oh, shoot. I'm the guest at this house. I'm taking this. Um, three, bedroom, three bedroom, two bath house. And it's like as standard as you can get, right? This is just like any other Vegas house. Let me, let me check out the backyard. just like just as Vegas as you can get and shout out to Tech Chang so uh, and on midterm rentals you have to furnish the house right and I think on this on this house to furnish this entire three bedroom two bath how much we spent five grand we spent five grand yeah we split down the middle the whole thing yep. yeah because usually usually it costs us five grand just to finish one bedroom one bath uh, out in Phoenix for us because you know we buy a high-end stuff I don't know. I don't. I'm. I'm renting this house, and I'm making like 800 bucks a month on this house. But going forward, I'm gonna start owning my own rentals. So, but he already bought a. He already had all these furnitures at his house that he was renting. So he came up to me saying, "Hey, I know you have. I know you're looking for furnitures to buy. Do you wanna? Do you wanna buy some furnitures off of me? I bought it for like I spent 14 grand on this furniture all all across the board, and I just I want I'll sell it to you for a fraction of the cost. So we furnished his entire house for only five grand, and my partner and I split that down the middle. Like if I had to, if I had furnished this with my own money, I probably, like if you had to go buy our own thing, we probably would have spent at least like $14,000, $16,000 just to furnish it, right? And this is a three bedroom, two bath house, 2,000 square feet. So it's not cheap. Just on like the, you know, kitchen set here, like we would have spent six grand and not including the beds, you know, all these appliances and things like that. So, wow. This is a house that I would live in. Brand new fridge. This was included in the sale of the house when we bought it. I said, "Hey, I will do this deal only if I can get the if only if I can get all the appliances with, included with the sale." So, let me take you upstairs. It's it's crazy because my partner is the one that helped me. Like, so Justin's my partner on this deal, but I also have my midterm rental partner who I own properties with, 
and her and I, we have a little over like 25, 25 units out here in Phoenix. And every single thing we buy, these are like, I've seen like 75 million of these because we, or we, we have like a Amazon like cards and every single time we need to furnish, furnish the house, we just buy the same thing over and over and over again because for us to go, buy, go find something else, it just costs us more time and more money. So, all right. Bedroom number one. This is really nice. This is a lot bigger than I thought. Oh. Bedroom number two. All right, and then we'll check out bedroom number three. Who bought these paintings, Justin? Gosh, I wanna take some of these home. Like, this is so nice. When you're analyzing a midterm rental, there are a couple of things that you, that you have to do, right? Like, for us, we have houses like this. There's just three bedroom, two bath, where you cannot split it up. Like, this is like a, you know, in a cookie cutter neighborhood. There's not much, I don't, we're not sitting on much land. These are newer homes. These houses, you have to rent the entire house as it, as it is. But then the model that my partner and I like to do is, we like to buy houses in number one, no HOA, uh, Arizona and Vegas mainly. And we like to buy houses where we can split it up, right? So the last acquisition, last house we bought, it was a four bedroom, three bath. We split it up as a three bedroom, two bath, and then a one bedroom, one bath. And then we look at the one bedroom, one, three bedroom, two bath, and we're like, we can split, split up this house up even more. Right, so four bedroom, three, four bedroom, three bath ended up being two bedroom, one bath, one bedroom, one bath, and one bedroom, one bath. And, that, and now we have three sources of income coming in under one roof uh, versus like this house, this house, for example, you know, we didn't, obviously we didn't have a choice. It was a good deal. Um, we ended, we have, to, we have to rent the house as is. So it kind of reduces our renter, uh, pool of renters that we can rent it out to because now we're only catering to people that want three bedroom, two bath. Right, so now we're niching down to the tenants. That's like, hey, I want a. We're niching down to a fa like a family tenant versus one bedroom, one bath. Like that could be me, or that could be like a couple. Right, so now you're opening up your audience to a broad range of uh, tenants, which makes a ho house a lot more uh, rentable, and 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 you have less vacancy. So guys, this is a house tour of one of our one of our acquisitions that we bought, obviously creatively taking over somebody else's mortgage at two point nine and only giving the homeowner $10,000. Like, this is a deal that you would never find using the traditional Burr method or you know, doing, cat, you know, doing, do, doing the fix and flips. You would never find deals like this, right? You know, I mean, we're making our money back within you know, probably a couple months, right? But I, my partner and I have about just under 30 units as of today. And if you guys wanna learn more about how to do midterm rentals, how to do gate lending, how to buy houses without any of your own cash, how to do wholesale, I've done over you know, 100 plus, I probably at this point 150 wholesale deals in my entire career and you and you want to learn how to you know grow your social media side of side of things join my school community it's completely free I'm not charging anything for it and on school I go live every single week and answer every, everybody else's questions for about an hour and a half and I do that completely for free I could easily charge this but I'm just doing it for free so because a lot of people ask me questions through on my Instagram Facebook uh, they find my numbers on my on my YouTube if you want any of your questions answered Join the school community. I will, I will hop on a Zoom call with everyone else in the school community every single week for about an hour and a half and I will answer every, everyone else's questions. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.